guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, so, well, two things. I got a comment. Uh, this is Monday morning, uh, last night, Sunday night, uh, when my the previous episode before this had just went up. And yeah, the comment was pretty much, I predict the next episode is going to be really short. So, I am, well, at the time I was guessing that, um, make this jump, that yeah, I must have ended the last episode where we're starting out here right before the end of the game, but you know, it's a blind let's play. I had no way of knowing that. Then about a half an hour ago, I recorded this part, which I'm redoing again. Of course, as we know, this is the pretty much end game. Uh, and yeah, I should have known. I started to set up my stuff to record. I looked over at my little preview thing and it was not looking quite right. I did a quick little test. Like, yeah, I'm sure it's probably fine. I'm probably at the end of the game anyway. And then I recorded this and sure enough, it was messed up. It was very choppy. And I have no idea what was wrong. I played around it a little bit. Why it was still messed up and just reboot it and it fixed it. But I'm not sure why it was doing that. I don't know. Some's got a memory leak. Something was messing something up. But I guess the good news for me is I know from my preview window that uh, there was obviously something wrong. I thought maybe it's just my Wi-Fi is being slower by because I watch it on a laptop. Just the preview, make sure everything's looking good. Where that was being compressed and looking weird, but it wasn't, and that never happens before. So I should have known it was. Probably not recording right, but now I know if I ever see that happen again, that there is definitely a problem. So, and there was only a few minutes of footage, so I'm just replaying this last part uh, again. And I'm, uh, man, I was worried because I was saving the game. I was saving the game. I was saving this bot over the last uh, save game I had. So I'm like, I'll re-record this last. I don't know what it is, four or five minutes here, at the end of the game. That uh. I was like, man, I hope I didn't save over the recording where I had beat Demon Natla, or whatever, Natla, the young lady down there, Demon Girl. Demon or Alien Girl, I'm still a little confused on that. Uh, and have to refight her just off camera just so I could get a safe game. Do I need to make this? No, this needs to be a long jump. Because I didn't want to have to refight her just so I could re record these last five minutes. Because. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. Oh, man, I got lucky there. Because, man, that fight was brutal. I really had no desire to redo that at all. Uh, anyway, didn't have to. It turned out I had saved right after I killed her on a different save. So that's good. So, yes, this last four minutes here isn't actually blind, I guess. Uh, but I'm kind of glad it happened on a short little ten-minute recording. So I know to look for that so it never happens again uh, if I've got like an hour record it and find out it's all bad but so here we go finishing this up and then uh yeah the game ends obviously everybody probably knows that except anybody that is watching this blind but I guess now they know I've given it away but they probably guessed anyway I wish this was all in the last episode but I already uploaded it to YouTube because I was out of videos on YouTube that were ready to roll, so can't really splice this into the last episode. It's already up there. Um, and then I record it, not record it, the game ends, and then I, I don't know, I just talked about my thoughts on the game for six or seven minutes. So I'm actually going to use that original footage. I'm going to use that original audio just me talking i might overlay some tomb raider images or just show the oh my this messed up video which is just still screens anyway so it doesn't really matter so i'll splice that in at the end i'll let you know before i do it uh just because i don't know i don't want to re-record my thoughts on the game that i was kind of just rambling about anyway so let's go ahead and do this jump and yeah, this is nothing real complicated here. And this is... This is it. Oh, there's a little ending cinematic. Okay. Hey, it's two out of three secrets, not bad.
Here's the boat we stowed on a few episodes ago, if you remember, that she motorcycled onto. And that is it. So, okay, now I'm going to splice to the original recording that was messed up that had my thoughts on the end of the game. And, yep, see you in a second. Well, there we go. That is it. Um, Laura boats off into the sunset. Um, all right, I guess we'll let the credits play out. No music for the credits? No, there are some credits, though. Um, yeah, wow, so it's like seven, eight minutes. Yeah, I wish I would have included that in the last episode, but I didn't know how close to the end I was. And since I was so far behind on uploading episodes, oh wow, that's it. Uh, yeah, since I was so far behind on uploading episodes, I uh edited it and uploaded it right away. So I, uh, yeah can't go back and recut it in well that's fine this will just be the oh this is doing a little okay yeah this is just doing a little uh demo yeah demo mode it says at the bottom uh well that's fine this will just be the finale um uh, yeah it's a good game glad i played it uh I'm scared it'd be really hard i mean it's an old game i thought it'd be super maze like possibly and then I would not enjoy it. I'd get bored of it. I'd just constantly being lost on the levels. But it wasn't at all. The levels were fun. The levels were fair. Uh, there were maybe... I don't know. It seemed a little long. How do you want to get your money's worth? Especially back then. But maybe a couple of the levels could have been combined. Uh, I mean, they were all pretty unique. I can't remember. It seems like maybe a couple of them seemed a little bit repetitive. But a minor complaint... Uh, the combat, probably. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if they improve it in the second Tomb Raider. Um, I mean, there wasn't a lot of combat. I think they realized it wasn't the strong point of the game. So it was... Yeah, I mean, there's just not a lot of finesse to it. Of course, I'm just bad at it. I'm sure other people are better with the jumping and the... The jumping and the rolling. Like, she makes it look pretty good right there. Uh, but yeah, not a lot to the combat, but story seemed fine i mean at least there was a story i don't think that was really the point just get her level to level to move around uh aliens demons i'm not quite sure what the bad guys were from the past i really i have to wikipedia and see the actual storyline figure out a little more what's going on i mean i know not was the chick that hired us the beginning i'm pretty sure and then I think she tried to sabotage us, right? Had that guy kill us and take the Scion. I don't know why, instead of just paying us. I'm not sure. Then Lara got pissed off and started chasing her around. Uh, yeah, but that's really not what the game's about. Uh, yeah, the graphics are better than I thought, even though I know I'm playing the PC version, but for a PS1 game, I mean, man, yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, now I lied earlier. I said I was going to play Unfinished Business. Uh, because when I ever load this game, it just has me pick Tomb Raider or Tomb Raider Unfinished Business. I'm like a little selection. This Tomb ATI patch I'm using. Patched them both, I guess, to run on the modern Windows systems. And shout out to whoever wrote Tomb ATI to make it run on a modern system without using the DOS box and a bunch of other stuff. That guy. I wish I would have looked up his name. Uh, there's all the credit. That's awesome that this community guy wrote some rappers to make the current, what, uh, probably direct us or open geo libraries work with the old ATI rage or whatever this one was originally written for. Uh, yeah, but I lied about playing unfinished business. I just did a little research on it maybe last week and, uh, Saw that it had actually come out during or after Tomb Raider 3. I think this game came out in 96. I think Tomb Raider 2 came out in 97, 98 or something. Maybe Tomb Raider 3, 98, 99. 
Unfinished business, I guess that's another couple of chapters to this game, or revisits a chapter or two, like a DLC, but it, I don't know if it was included, like a promotional thing of Tomb Raider 3, so I'm not going to play it, or I might play it, but I'll play it in the order it was released, not the chronological order of the game, because the graphics, even though they're all PS1 games, PC, well, PS1, PC versions might have got better graphics, but they might have updated the movesets. I just don't want to play the newer version of the engine. Like, out of order. I'd rather wait to play the newer version of the engine when I get to it. So I'll play Tomb Raider 2, then Tomb Raider 3, and then maybe I'll come back and do the Unfinished Business DLC. I'm not sure. Uh, what else? Any other thoughts on it no like i said i enjoyed it a lot more i mean now i'm glad so i'm gonna play them all i mean originally i always thought i'd play the tomb raider i can't remember like the 2014 2016 the crystal dynamics i guess reboot pretty much is what it is um i'm glad i'm playing these old ones so yeah i'm gonna knock this one out second third one then i think there's two or three others that just have different names so like tomb raider 4 it might be tomb raider underworld or something so as of now i'm planning on playing them all i actually got a comment a week or two ago that this uh this tour comment just happened to say they like tomb raider 2 is the best in the series so that's exciting let's set the next one though um anyway i should probably end this i'm gonna go finish yeah if anybody's interested my god of war let's play the 2000 the original god of war ps2 version I mean, I'm playing it on a PC emulating a PlayStation 3, actually, is how I'm playing it. Uh, got like eight episodes. I started it before this game, but then I, I don't know. I was going to do two games at once, but then I got used to the controller for this game. And forgot the controls, forgot a war, and thought I'd finish this game off. And it's a lot, this game's longer than I expected it to be. So I'm going to knock off the original God of War. And I was liking it. It's a cool game. I'm glad I played it, too. Uh, but I'll start Tomb Raider 2 here in a week or two. And then maybe I'll be able to make some between God of War and Tomb Raider. Seems like it'd be better to play one keyboard game, keyboard and mouse, one controller game, since I'm not great with the controller remembering controls. And God of War's uh, got some quick time events where you got to know where the triangle, the square, the circle. Like, kill things faster, which I'm incredibly horrible at. So, yeah, I don't know. If you have any interest in that game, if you like this, watch me play this, go check that out. I mean, yeah, I'm going to die all the time in that one, especially getting back into it. But uh, yeah, Tomb Raider 2, I'll be starting here in a week or two, getting them up on the YouTube. So anybody that's watched this, I appreciate it. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.